Hi, I'm Michelle and welcome to today's video on how to do core exercises if you're a beginner. Now, this exercise video is one that you can work along with at home. You won't need any equipment other than a mat or somewhere to lie down. You could even do the exercises in bed if you choose to, provided you've got a firm mattress. Uh, with these exercises, they're exercises to train your deep core muscles. So if you're looking for exercises to build up your six pack, this isn't the video for you. This is about retraining your deep abdominal muscles, your core muscles, your, the muscles work with your pelvic floor, and also the deep muscles in your lower back. And these muscles work with your breathing as well. So as I take you through, we're going to be doing some exercises lying on the ground, and then also some exercises in kneeling. And we're going to be talking about breathing because when you breathe well, your core muscles work well. So that's why I'm going to be talking a little bit about breathing as well as we move along. So let's get started. We're going to start on the ground or on the, on the mat, if you've got your mat at home, set yourself up. And I'll just guide you through how to activate these muscles and then how to exercise them with a nice little routine you can do at home. Okay, so we're going to start off with our heel slide. I'm wearing socks so my feet can slide. And bring your hands up onto your lower abdomen. You want to keep hold of this area so you can feel the space in your lower back and feel that your pelvic bones aren't rolling forward and back as you start this first exercise called our slide. What you're going to do is with your left leg, slide the leg, slide the heel along the ground and extend out. And then once you feel the pelvis start to tilt, bring the leg back in. So when you're starting out with this exercise at home, you might find that you can only just move the leg a little way before the pelvis starts to tilt. So what I mean is doing that and back. So that's exactly what we don't want. We want to keep controlled and just slide as far as you can control that pelvis before the back starts to arch and bring it back in. So a lot of control involved in this exercise. Taking it out and back and just repeat the number that you can do while you can keep your tummy controlled. I'll do one more this side and back and relax. We're going to move to the other side. So let's just do a couple of reps. We're sliding down again, keeping that neutral position. My tummy muscles are activated. I'm ideally looking up towards the ceiling and sliding the leg down and back. And you might find when you're starting out that you can only slide the heel a little way and back. And as you get better, you might find that you can slide the foot further away from the bottom and taking it back. Let's do another couple on this side, taking it down and back. And once more, I can really feel my tummy muscles fatiguing. I don't know how yours are going at home, but mine are getting tired. And let's relax. Take a nice big breath in and out and just roll your back flatten out gently and roll back through and one more time flattening out and back all right let's move on now some of you might stay with your heel slides and do another set if you feel like you'd like to progress a little bit we're going to do a little tummy muscle activation here and a little lift of the leg up and take the leg down towards the ground and again you know that we're trying to focus on keeping the back arch the same. So try to stay really stable through that pelvis and really stable through the core, not allowing your back to arch excessively like that, keeping it stable. Let's do a couple more on this side. Feel the tummy muscles working. And one more time and taking it down and relaxing and when you start out you might find that you can only do a couple at a time that is fine you just do what you can do when you're starting out let's move to the other side a little lift and down keeping the tummy muscles on and I'm trying to keep my pelvis really stable I like to use my hands here so I can feel what my pelvis is doing if you're feeling really confident at home or as you improve with your your core strength and control you might be able to bring your hands down to the side and down and let's take a break pelvic tilt taking it down and back and once more down and back we've got one more exercise to do lying on the mat this is our last one and it's called bent knee fallouts now with our bent knee fallout again i've got my hands on my tummy so bring your hands onto your tummy at home draw in through your lower abdomen try to breathe regularly a lot to remember isn't there and let's take the leg down to the side 
and bring it back. Now you find when you're first starting out here that you can't move the leg a long way down. You'll find that it's a really small movement until the pelvis starts to roll. Now your core muscles control that movement. So you want to just start with a tiny movement out to the side and back. And I imagine I've got a ruler or something flat balanced across my pelvic bones. And I'm trying to keep that really flat and bringing the leg back up. So I take the leg down to one side and I'm not lifting my, the other bones. So as I'm lowering my left leg, my right pelvic bone isn't rolling. And that's what you're feeling for through your abdomen and taking it down and bringing it back and then relax. Here's our last set. Are you ready? Let's go. Tummy muscles on, other leg down to the side, control it and back. And you might find a difference in control from side to side as you're doing this. Keeping your breathing steady, bringing the leg back up. Couple more, taking it down, try and keep it smooth. Don't go any further, further than your range of control. And one more time, taking it down and bringing it back. And it's finish off there and roll your back out. If you're able to at home, a couple of tilts. And then you might feel like you'd like to bring one knee up and then the other knee up just to stretch out your back gently. Do whatever feels comfortable for your back. And then lower your legs down. All right, we're going to move into kneeling now. Okay, so to finish off, we're going to be in kneeling. Now, if your knees are sore or your wrists are sore, you can do these exercises lying down. Um, you can use a pillow underneath your tummy and you can do them prone. But in this position, we're going to position knees underneath our hips and our hands underneath our shoulders. And once again, we're keeping the inward curve in our lower back. Remember, I talked about that before with lying down. So again, really important in this position too. So you're not arched up like that. You've got that inward curve in the lower back. Not excessive, just midway between that extended position and flex position. All right, so we're gonna start in this position. Lower abdomen, just drawing in a little bit. So remember we talked about the muscles through here. Again, we're drawing those core muscles on. And that in itself, just with a couple of breaths, keep the tummy muscles on. Couple of breaths. In breath and out breath. And one more time at home, breathing in and out. And relax your tummy down. Now let's increase the challenge a little bit. Drawing in. And you can progress as you feel comfortable doing so at home. So tummy muscles are right. And we're just going to lift and lower the arm. Now this looks like a shoulder exercise, I know, but it's actually a core exercise. I'm keeping this muscle, these muscles on and active the whole time and retrain them. So if you've got a saggy tummy, this is going to help to firm the control of that tummy and use those muscles that wrap right around to the back. They act like a core set of support and support our back and our pelvis. One more time this side, reaching out as far as it feels comfortable. And release. It's going to be on the side. Lifting up. And try to keep looking down. So look down between your hands so that your head's not extended. You don't get a sore neck looking up. So try to keep looking down. Reaching up. Keep the tummy muscles on. And keep your breathing. And relax. Let's have a little slide back. Just stretching out through the back. And let's come back up. All right. To progress that, we're going to take the leg out behind. So, right leg, I'm moving out behind. Before I do that, my tummy muscles are activated, engaged. I've got the inner curve in my lower back. So keep that going at home. Take the right leg out. Tummy stays active and back in. And again, taking it out behind and back in. Can you keep your tummy muscles on? Keep breathing, just nice and steady.
exercises at home. That's a really nice beginner's core routine. You could choose to do one or two of those exercises a day or you might like to do the whole little routine uh, and spread it out over the course of the day. So I really hope those exercises help you get started to understanding how to work your core muscles and just starting to get some control back in that core area. Uh, thank you so much for watching today. Please subscribe below. I love your questions and I love your comments. Uh, please feel welcome to contribute and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for today.